everyone. Uh, we don't introduce ourselves anymore on the podcast. My name is Bob we Bob don't Drag- do it from watchery. I will forever. introduce myself then. Don't introduce yourself. My name is Bob the Drag Queen. You don't have to introduce yourself. Anyway, my name is Bob the Drag Queen, and I guess we're, we're reviewing the episode. Of- I'm on X. Then don't, then bitch, then don't go and I'll do this myself. Go walk away, walk away, <laughs> walk away. Wait, sorry, I need to comment. Somebody in the Zoom call is fully at precinct watching a drag show. Not so. We're also doing this live on our Patreon. I mean, but for the patrons, we have a live Zoom link. And someone is just at precinct. What's tonight? It's tonight. Me, oh, me, tonight's me. I was just telling Bob about Fat Slut. So I went to Fat Slut last week or two weeks ago with Naomi Smalls. And they do a food eating competition dance off thing. And it gets mm-hmm. wild. This young gentleman or this young person took off all their clothes and had, I mean, dick out. The, the, a very beautiful ass. You would have you loved this yeah, ass. There's this, there's this one person whose ass I'm obsessed with on TikTok. My name is Monet. Monet. On Instagram right now. My name is Monet. And this is someone I'm like, if I ever saw this person in person, I'd be like, I am right here. I'm right here. Obsessed. Oh, I didn't save them. (laughs) Someone said not Bob Nye. (laughs) (laughs) Not Bob Nye. Oh, I didn't save them. That's crazy. Because I'm like so obsessed with their butt. I'm obsessed with this one too. Anyway, all right. Anyway, so this person was. Ask, oh, then they started taking cake, uh, for the food, the cheesecake, and putting it in there. Girl, I was like, this is insane. But they had it's a very per- nice It's performance art is what it is. They had a very nice butt. Very nice butt. Um, you know who has a nice butt? RuPaul. Well, I was going to say, before we get into uh, anything about... I don't think I've ever seen RuPaul's butt. RuPaul has a I've seen RuPaul's butt. <laughs> Um, I want to say real quick uh, that Monet did a really good job tonight at the um, at the Daughters of the uh, the, uh, the Red Regiment. La Fille du Regiment. And um, you all should go. It was it was so fun. If you, I mean, there's not very many performances. There are four performances. Opera is so a lot of opera performances. Like you you spend months preparing two or three. Even at the Met or LA Opera, you get like maybe eight performances of a show. It's like kind of crazy. It was second. There was no. It was no one there, guys. Literally no, no one came. No, it was a packed house and a uh, four thousand motherfucking seats. And it was great. So congratulations. Thank you. So we should we have a lot to cover. And yeah, it is one twenty three in the morning. Yeah, we have to get going. Okay, so, so during the fallout, <clears throat> so during the fallout, um Selena has just sent home uh Amy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Which I mean it was time. Yeah, Selena sent home Amy. It's time. Amy, it was her was her fourth time in the bottom, third time in the third, bottom. Third, third. In in like the first two episodes, she yeah. took a break one episode and then it was right back in the game. Did you see the did you see last week's episode? I, I watched the I watched uh uh Watchery. Oh, you mean Pit Stop. Watchery. Oh, Watchery. Watch, Watchery. Yeah. Did you did, did you did you think Selena deserves to be in the bottom last week? I mean, I watched Watchery, so I didn't actually watch. I just heard y'all's opinions. So I didn't actually watch the episodes. I can't really. I was so curious to think if you think that she was in the bottom. I don't think she should have been in the bottom. Maybe I'll watch it and then I'll do a a one on one with the with the Patreon. Maybe I'll watch it on the plane tomorrow. And then at some point I'll just randomly log into Patreon and zoom with you all and be like, let me let me get my thoughts on the episode. Okay, cool. So okay, Lux, Sasha, uh, Anitra, and Lucy each have a win right now. Yeah, which I think that makes sense. My fantasy: Sasha for sure, Lux for sure, Mistress for sure. No, Lux, Sasha, Anitra, Lucy. Mistress doesn't have one? I'm going to read this again. Lux, Sasha, Anitra, and Lucy. <laughs> I don't know if you're, if you're making a mistake. I'm not making a mistake. <laughs> I what, see. what if Mistress win? Our hearts. Besides that, she's not one of the things. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, but that the rest makes sense. Lux, I mean, you didn't... I, I think Lux did have great fashion. Sasha and that fucking acting challenge. Lux has great fashion. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and I'm saying, but you didn't see the, the thing. I... I my, the, I didn't see the looks though, and, I, and and Sasha and Lux's looks were my favorite. Yeah, but I kind of want to see them in more content. Was, I just saw them in clips, but they were they were both really good looks. I still think Mistress should have won. Mistress made that fucking outfit. I Mistress, didn't even see this, Mistress, Mistress was so fucking. Good. I I I think Mistress has been robbed twice now at this point. What Mistress, else did she get robbed? This episode. Let's talk about that. Let's get into it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So at the top of the episode. Okay, RuPaul walks in. They're making the girls do their uh, their separate. Um, how do they choose? I don't even remember how they chose the groups. Was it just like how you're standing again? Like what? I don't they- remember. I think RuPaul they didn't he didn't let because if if he let them choose, that would have been more of a more of an episode beat. I don't remember, but it didn't so stand that, out to me. This season, RuPaul just kind of been like wherever you're standing, that's the group you're in. <laughs> um, and then the old gays walked in. The old gays, but they're missing again. one. 
They were missing one year, yeah. What happened? Did he die? I mean, they're older. I don't mean that in a shady way. Like, we, we lose people often. Well, I think we would have known if he was dead, Monet. He probably was busy that day. Because busy one of, not dying. Because one of them were literally like, because in the little um, bonus stuff online, they were like, um, do friends matter to you? And he goes, if I didn't have these two right here, I'm like, damn, what, what, what about number three? Maybe they're not friends anymore. It's an old, old friends of we hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, one of the old gays are missing, but I love. I never. You met them? Yeah, I met them at. Um, you did too at the Queerties last year. Well, I met them at the Queerties for sure. Oh, I didn't meet them. I didn't see them. Because you, to be fair, you and I were beefings. I don't want to have any to do anyone's friendships. Anyway, I literally ran and grab. I literally ran and grabbed them for a picture. Not about manhandling no, no, these old faggots. Also, come here. No, I didn't run and grab. I actually ran and grabbed their manager. <laughs> okay. I said, get the old gays. <laughs> right um, but they, that was such a cute moment. And then that's when RuPaul reveals to them that they're going to be working in uh, girl groups. I love girl groups. So my season, the girl group challenge, we were doing, um, it was like chicken wings, rectangle girls. That was a good one. And the street meets. Oh, we love big black Beans. Beans. Um, yeah. What was y'all's uh, girl group challenge again? You've girl, I, done I, a few. I, I won't stop. But first what I did was with What? <laughs> that was your first girl group challenge? Yeah, I didn't do one in season 10. Season 10, we just did the big farmer musical with like <laughs> But I love the girl group challenge. I'm gonna say this. I still think the Street Meats was robbed during the girl group challenge. Who won Chicken Wings one? Late Chicken Wings. Late Chicken Wings. That was Kim, Robbie, and Naomi. I still think I still think that we were robbed. Robbed. Jacob said, Jacob said roll. Jacob said move on, we bitch. Were, we were robbed. We were robbed. <laughs> Name one lyric from Late Chicken Wings. Exactly. Um, um anyway, so the group so I don't remember how they decided groups, but I do I do love them choosing the songs. And I, oh, this was wild. I love that Lux was like, we're already wearing. I'm, she's like, I'm already wearing the metal hat. I'm, I'm not gonna take it off. Like that was so, hip, so hip hop was like, hip hop was like, we're already sold. Hip hop was like, soon as they other girls both wanted, yeah, they said we're gonna take that. Also, I love Sasha's look in this. She looks so cute. I in love the in her. the challenge. No, just in the in the workroom. Like she just sitting there, she wearing like this little polo. She looks so adorable. I, remember. I remember. I just remember thinking to myself, I love this workroom look. She looked really, really. I actually sent. I DM'd her, the, her the, the thing, and I was like, "You look so adorable here." Oh, um, when 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 did Sasha unblock you? Sasha never blocked me. When does RuPaul? When did, why did RuPaul unblock you? You never answered that question. That you've never answered. <laughs> RuPaul is not true. And she doesn't follow you. Did she follow you? Exactly. <laughs> This look. I love this. I love Oh, this she look. does look cute. Sasha like, does look cute. She's like, she like she's about to go golfing or something. <laughs> um, so anyway, so then the girls start doing their thing. So, so the groups are Mistress, Marsha, Lux, and Selena. Mm -hmm. And then Malaysia, Sasha, Spice, and Aura. And then Anitra, Jax, Robin, and Luz. This is their still stare. We are four <laughs> girls have been sent home. There are still this many. Whoa. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, right? It is crazy, but I mean, it's fine. I'm having fun. I also, also think this episode, even though it's an hour long episode, they still give I, guys. When I say hour long, that's because when you watch TV, it's an hour long with commercials. When it's an hour and a half, it's not ninety minutes. It ends up being like fifty seven minutes. It's not. We don't. Yeah, everyone lines like the episode went from being an hour and thirty minutes to three minutes. It's like no. Um, also, okay, Sasha first. Sasha and Lux are going at it. Yeah, like Sasha's like. I think that Lush, I think that Lux and Mistress were like trying to like Kiki and Kiki. Yeah, well, Kiki can. But, I, but, but also, sometimes everyone don't want to fucking Kiki. So just because you, you want to Kiki, don't mean everybody around you want to Kiki. But I feel like bitches be picking and choosing when they want to Kiki, which this is yeah, fine. Yeah, that's valid. But also, like, I'm, what if you're like, I'm not in the mood right now, bitch? Uh, what? I, I was still going to Kikiana. When I, even though you're not in the mood, I'm going to Kiki on Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, bitch, I know. Yeah. So maybe this is me subtly giving you the note. <laughs> bitch. And like they were like playing around. Because even in Untucked, it got crazy. With You didn't see the... I don't watch Untucked. Bitch, Malaysia was getting hot because Lux was like, I was just playing around. And Malaysia was like, well, you were invalidating my feelings. I was like, well, wasn't all I, bad? I, Malaysia, that's, that's not a defense. I was just joking. Like if you are intentionally trying to annoy someone and then you succeed and you annoy them, and then now they're mad and they're like, and you're like, what? I was just kidding. Why are you so mad? Wait, why are you, whoa. No, why are you it's getting not the so same thing. crazy? It's not the king. 
Fancy no, in, in, the, in, the, in the chat is good. Yeah, if, if you are in, intentionally annoying someone, intentionally trying to get under their skin, and they finally snap you, like, what? What is? Why are you acting like this? Well, the amount of times you have intentionally got under my skin, and but we... vice, oh, and you, and, and vice versa, Mary. So, so, so now it's good. So now it's good. Just, you act like this. That does not happen on both rows of the street. But also, Monet, you and I are best friends. These girls just met each other. They do not know each other. I think that Lux and Malaysia are best friends, like in spirit, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, but so so first so first Lux and, and Sasha going at it, and mm -hmm. then Lux and Mistress are really annoying Sasha and Malaysia. Yeah. So the two the the two the four girls that are really fighting are Lux and Mistress. But I think it's because they just keep playing. Yeah. And I don't think Sasha and Malaysia. It doesn't seem like. From my and I'm sure they're fine now. It doesn't seem like Sasha and Malaysia think it's funny. You're right. To me, I, I could be wrong. This is all just from my perspective, my my perception of it. But also, and here's the thing with these challenges, people are like fighting for a song so bad. I guarantee you, at before the girls girls put vocals on it, the tracks are all comparable. None of them are better than the other. If you think of all three of these things, hip hop, metal, or country, they are all funny to see old people do it. It's just, or, or, or old ladies do it. It's just your lyrics and your content is what makes the challenge good. Like, like when Alyssa and Coco were doing that thing back and forth, and then doing, Alyssa, doing? and then Coco didn't find it funny anymore because Alyssa, I guess, crossed the line that Coco wasn't comfortable with. Mm -hmm. When she said, girl, look how fucking orange you look, girl. Yeah. And then Coco responded with, I'm not joking, bitch. I'm not joking, bitch. But sometimes bitch. the thing is you get embarrassed because you were just kidding. At first you were kidding, but then someone crossed the line, and now you're a little bit embarrassed because your because your response is emotional. Yeah. And then someone goes and tells you that your emotional response is embarrassing, or that yeah. your emotional response is is over the line. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do, do do you did you think one of these genres were would be funnier than the other? Yeah, I would want to do hip hop or country personally. Really? Yeah. But one of the winning one ended up being metal because I think it's your lyrics that make it funny. Yeah, yeah, I think it's definitely the performances. You know what yeah, I mean, I mean there are there are there are. I mean, no, I don't, I don't. I mean, I do like certain genres over other genres, but I also there are there are certain country songs I like more than certain rap songs. Yeah, there are certain metal songs I like more than certain country songs. I would have probably went for hip hop because that's that would be my inclination to go to hip hop. For me, hip hop and country. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Um, the other two are pretty equal to me, but hip hop would have been like my number one go-to because that's what I lean towards. I think like country songs are kind of fun to sing and fun. Like you, you can. I mean, country songs are known for the narrative. But none of the girls gave a particular country performance. Well, let's get into that because I thought that. Well, wait, wait. We have a little more. Uh, we're at yeah. uh, the recording. Okay, yeah. So, so Malaysia's team won the battle. So they, yeah. they they drew from a hat, and Team Malaysia won the battle, which I think is the fairest way. These thing about doing auditions. And fucking and doing it, for, bitch. No, putting some shit in the hat and choosing one to me. That is a fair story. I'm not auditioning for y'all. Your name is not Ruth fucking Paul. I'm not auditioning. One Jan or who was it? No, Rose and someone auditioned for a role. Oh, Rose and oh, I then, was like. Then also, uh, oh, do you remember the showdown between Lady Camden and uh, 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 Bosco? Bosco? Bitch, bitch. Didn't there wasn't there an audition on All Star Seven? Didn't Jinx and the, somebody else want the same role? No, no, no. What happened? All Star Seven. Jinx and so Jinx wanted this role, and to for me to sabotage and shade Jinx, I said that I wanted the <clears> same <throat> role, but Trinity got to choose, and because Trinity and I were in a motherfucking nice, Trinity gave the role to me, and Jinx was tight. Oh, did it work? Did you beat Jinx, man? For the show? But I beat in that episode. <laughs> so okay, so now let's go to the recording session. Be a recording so session. up front, Robin, it looks like Robin is struggling. Yes, but was she really struggling though? Robin is hot. I mean, Robin, Robin might be in his room. Robin might be, but Robin is. I mean, Robin, I'm really, Robin. <laughs> Robin is on my cup of tea. I am a big lady. I don't no, I think Robin is pretty, but I I could not fuck that. Robin. If I came at Robin, I would my ass would swallow Robin whole. My ass would that. swallow Robin and spit her bones out the other side. Um, Lux had one of Leland's favorite verses. Okay, we're gonna get to it in the, in the performance. Bitch, do you have neighbors? I don't care, bitch. I don't live here. Clearly. Um, in fucking um Lux's melodic thing coming into the episode, I thought it was. I was like, she sounds really good. Sounds like I really think to hone in on. Lux She's like, I was like, oh, like she can sing. from what I heard from the verse, it seems like she can. Yeah, she did a good in job. My opinion. I like Lux. Um, and Selena thinks that country's only Southern or for like white people, which 
This country is, I mean, for example, Shania Twain is from Canada. She's a huge country star. Yeah. Orville Peck is from South Africa. Orville Peck is from South Africa? Orville Peck is more African than you. <laughs> Bitch, you too. Wait, Orville Peck is South African? Orville Peck is South, is South African. Have you seen him without the thing? Uh, on the internet, but never in person. We hung out the other day at, at an event. But okay, he wanted to. So we're gonna anyway. I'll he tell you, texted okay. me he wanted to hang out, but you didn't respond. That's not true. I've been so Orville Peck is a liar. <laughs> I've been like doing stuff, and I did text him back though. I did not not respond. He said you didn't. So if Orville's out there, Sanders not, did not respond. That is a lie. Anyway, um, so Africans are liars. <laughs> <laughs> the wow, uh, but yeah, the recording session is going really well for most. But also, yeah, you, I mean, I get that that country music. I don't think country, I don't think country music started in the South. It is popular in the South. I have no I think idea. it's more of a. I think I don't know for sure. But I think it's more of a Western thing than a like Southern old thing. Old Westerns, like the Texas, world. Arizona, like cowboys. I think that's where country music like started. I have I I can't I have no idea where country I have no idea. You don't like country music at all? No, I maybe I like Carrie Underwood. I mean, she's pop country. Yeah, that's, but she does do country. It is pop country. I know. K. Michelle used to do, do the country for a while. How about um? You know, Mr. Um, 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 Monday, Mr. Mom. Do you know um? God bless the lonely road that led me back to you. With every, you don't know that one. No, I don't know that. Do you know um? Don't kiss the girl. Dee 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 dee. De. You don't know? Don't kiss the girl. Oh, mm. that's a good song. Um. Oh, so, Casey Musgraves, you're, you're the queen who crowned you. All I know is the one who gave you your your platform. All I heard, all I know is uh, seeing it all, seeing it all. Do, 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 do. I don't know how Casey Musgraves do. Yeah. Um. Selena's having a hard time coming up with lyrics. And I'm like, because she's trying to write specifically in the genre of country. I'm like, just write a verse. Do you like like when you're writing for different are you trying to like if you write a country song, you write a rock song, are you trying to write and you're just writing lyrics? Yeah, I agree. She's, you should just be writing lyrics. Yeah, that's trying to like vocal, write country vocally lyrics. Vocally try to match the thing. Yeah, not yeah. trying to like write music for country. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That, that was that is a weird like And there are and again, there are typical there are typical cadences and tropes that you find yourself in country music, right? Or in any type of genre. But just write your thing and make it match that when you finish your lyrics. I think that the rehearsals were a train wreck, kind of. <laughs> so, okay, it seems like Robin's team didn't really do anything. Yes. It seems, that's what it looks like from the thing. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're just like, just, just, they're just up there just walking around. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then Lux, I think um, that the, the country girls are working. Well, yeah, like, they, they, like it looks really good. Because of Marsha, was Marsha in that team? That was uh, that was team uh, country was Mistress Marsha Lux Selena. Because Marsha, I did not. Did you know that she was? I don't know she was a Broadway girl. She was I in did. Kiki Boots on Broadway. Yeah, I did know that. They, they showed they showed a clip of it on on, on the show. Her oh, I didn't know that. I was like, well, or maybe I saw it online or something. This is like this is like she's in her bag. Marsha is, uh, from what I've seen on the show, Marsha is Marsha is a triple threat. Marsha can sing very well. Marsha's a very good dancer. And sing very well. Have we seen her sing? She, yes, she sang on the country song. She did. I don't remember. They all sang. Every every single girl. I thought she was more of like a rapper person. No, she sang. And huh. Marsha can sing. Marsha's a good singer. Oh, work. Yeah. And she. Uh, okay. I have. I think Marsha is looking cute in the workroom. I can't remember what she wore. But, she's doing that. But she's doing she that. She normally wears like 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 a turtleneck and like like pants that nineties yeah. baggy. She's doing that whole like mom look. But she's yeah. still, I, Marcia's I, I got like, a cute workroom face. look. Uh, Spice is is going wild in the workroom. Spice have this like open like shirtless <laughs> vest thing. I love. Um, I I did love Lil Mama's look. Uh, Sasha's look. Who else in the workroom is like so Lux? Good? Bitch, Lux has a leather hat. Lux, Lux is, yeah. yeah. I, I really like Sasha's confessional look with the gloves. The I gloves like look it. so wild. So every time I forget, and then she does something. I'm like, oh. I think she looks fierce. And I also think that Mistress has a really cool uh, confessional look. Yeah, her look is cute. Mistress yeah. is cute. Mistress is, one of my, Mistress is one of my favorite drag race girls I've seen on TV in a long time. I really, I really like Mistress. I like how cunty she is. I like how funny she is. I like how yeah, shady she so is. she's trying to take your fucking song of choice. <laughs> <laughs> I like Mistress a lot. Um, yeah. 
So, so during, so during the makeup moment, Sasha talks about uh, being uh, about the mahu scene, which is uh, mahu is a, is, a, is a term used to uh, describe indigenous people who are queer. Actually, it's not just for indigenous people who are queer because when I well, for, it's like when I was there, they were saying mahu was any queer person. Mahu is just a word that that indigenous Hawaiians use to describe queer people. Mm -hmm. So kanaka is a term for indigenous Hawaiians, and mahu is a term for queer people. So kanaka mahu would be a queer. Indigenous Hawaiian. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Um, but it was really cool to, to see her talk about that. Uh, it was just really kind of cool. Especially when I was when I was working with um, the people in Kona. And like the, the, the Kanaka Mahu community is like really fucking fierce. They are mm. like fierce. A lot of them are also um, not only uh, queer activists, but also environmental activists. Uh, the Kanaka Mahu community is really big in environmental active at least the ones mm -hmm. i was hanging out with were really big into environmental activism which was really awesome i'm so proud of you bob you work with um in kona for your we're here episode oh thank you which one an emmy it did that's where layla won and that's, that, that, was, that was your fish outfit yes and layla, yeah. layla won um for makeup on layla won an emmy for makeup on uh on the kona hawaii episode yes did. do you want to tell everyone who told you you should hire Leia? it wasn't you Okay. So we can move on. It wasn't me. I, that, you I, like, oh, and I, I literally didn't stutter. You and I, who you tell me who you think. I was like, oh, okay, I'm not going to go. I'm not doing this with you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad that neither one of us is doing this. Because according to you, you take credit for everything everyone ever done. You you, you hired Layla. You got me on Drag Race. I did not hire her. You, I, what, who else, what else did you do? I you, told you, you should have. Did you get Shane Rico on the show too? <laughs> Did you, were you voting for the Emmys as well? <laughs> anyway, um, but that was the only thing I had for the makeup moments. Yeah, and then um, in the makeup moments, I oh, I hate, I hate doing character makeup. I don't like painting old. I just, I'm just not good at it. And the fact we, that we, we remember the pig nose. <laughs> I'm not good at doing stuff like that. Like I said, not, we know, Lloyd. Lloyd I'm about to, know. Lloyd. I'm about to beat you up. It bitch. just says we know. I hate doing character makeup. I'm not good at it. And a lot of everyone is doing a really good job at it. I'm not good yeah. at that stuff. Well, I don't think I actually think that Malaysia was doing like ugly makeup and not old makeup. <laughs> like Malaysia was kind of giving you Hamasaki <laughs> with the moles. Did anyone else experience that? I I mean it did look a little off. And I and, you see, and this is why I thought I was, they were I was, all... I was like, I was like, what is happening? But I was gas. You know who's eating the age makeup? Mistress, Mistress is I was like, a this is wild. Drag queen. And this is why I'm saying that they were all on the same kiki kiki thing. Because Mistress came over to, over to her later. Like you, if you if you kiki with someone and you and you don't feel the thing, you don't come back later and carry in the conversation. So they had that thing earlier about choosing groups. Then they came to the makeup and they started like Kicking back and forth with each other it's, again. It's not necessarily that simple, Monet. Sometimes when you don't want to play anymore, someone can just do one little thing that goes too far, and then you're like, "I am now my feelings are hurt." But the so first but, thing would have been the too far. To say when she but, came back the second time, but it was that fine. doesn't mean that. But that doesn't mean that something down the line does is isn't funny. Like if someone says something funny, you can still kiki, and maybe a part of that is just also Malaysia trying to get over her anger. I have a performance to do on stage now. I don't want to sit here in my feelings. I'm trying to like keep things going. So yeah, I'm trying to smile. I'm trying to get things going, but I'm still like irritated by the fact that you keep fucking making fun of me. But I don't think that one thing is funny. Like I, you can laugh at this, you can laugh at this, you can laugh at this, but I gotta be honest with you, bitch. The rock and roll stuff wasn't funny to me. I'm I'm on this show trying to win fucking RuPaul's Drag. We're all trying to win Drag Race. And you can make fun of my makeup. We can kick heckle about that. You mm -hmm. make fun of this. But, bitch, I wasn't joking about this. You know what I mean? Coach could quote uh, Coco Von Trees. I'm not joking, bitch. But you, we've all been like that before. You know what I mean? Bobby teaches me empathy. I'm, bitch, I, between the two of us, I am the empathetic queen. Yeah. Am, am mm -hmm. I not the more empathetic yeah, queen? Yeah, you sound like it. You're, re you're, really, you're really selling the empathy right now. Um, so, so let's go with the, with the banjo, bitches. Can you pull up the... Um, the banjo bitches. They're called the banjo bitches. <laughs> and I think the reason why I am maybe a little bit more sensitive to this is because, well, for two reasons. One, I I joke a lot. And there's been a lot of times in my life where I've just gone too far. And I've just probably should have chilled out. And that's just a lesson that I've been learning in life where I'm like, everyone's not trying to have fun mm -hmm. on, on every subject all the time, you know? 
Baby, RuPaul has a small amount of labia hanging out of the bottom of this dress. I think this, this is so hot. Is she looks amazing? There is a Andy was sc- like, there is a scotch of pussy popping out. This this might be made with three inches of fabric. And he was like, what is RuPaul wearing? I didn't like it. I was like, what do you like? I was like, RuPaul, fuck, what are you talking about? He's like, uh, it's just not good. I was like, Andy, first of all, we don't need your notes on fashion, Miss 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 Short. <laughs> I mean, the, the dress is, this outfit is, this dress is not particularly. It's simple. It's not, yeah, it's, it's a very simple dress, but that doesn't change that she looks very good. The asymmetrical, like it being literally right at the line of a fucking pussy. RuPaul, RuPaul looks like some 21 year old bitch. I mean, okay, not 21 year old. You know what I mean? RuPaul. Uh, she was like 40. <laughs> like, a, like a hot 40. RuPaul looks good. If the hair wasn't white, RuPaul could, if RuPaul gave, okay, if RuPaul wore this. RuPaul was 40, 22 years ago. If RuPaul wore this with a long, straight human hair wig, you'd be like, oh my God, this is a young girl. Let's move on. (laughs) (laughs) RuPaul has a listen. RuPaul looks beautiful. Particularly young, I don't think it's RuPaul's, uh, (laughs) is where she thrives. She looks younger, she does look younger than she is, but also, I think that I am going to try to what? stop like doing this big boosting up of people looking younger than they are. And I think it's because I might be going too deep for this for, for luxury, but my, my mom looks older than she is. Mm-hmm. And my mom used to always look way younger than she did, but then she got sick and now she looks older than she is. Mm-hmm. And you don't know why someone doesn't like, so whenever someone's like, um, with like and people often do where they compare people. Like, well, so and so's aging beautifully, and why is so and so aging like garbage? And it's like you don't know, you do not know why people ha- have aged the way they've aged. Like Randy, like Randy Harrison from um from um looks so young. For, and, and Randy Harrison from uh Queer's Fault, we did a play together once. And one day I was like, How do you look young? And he was like, I'm not doing anything. Um he's like, I'm do I do like normal stuff to like keep my self together, but I'm not doing anything special mm-hmm. besides moisturizing. I don't have a secret product. I just look young. Well, I think with drag it's a little different. I think Rue is specifically invoking a sexy young thing wearing this dress like this. I think RuPaul is like, bitch, no, for sure. I'm a young ingenue. No, for sure. I think that RuPaul, no, RuPaul looks... But exciting. in regular life, I could see your point. And also, I will say too, like working with Madonna too has been weird. People comment on her age and her physical appearance so much. It is crazy. Uh, that would drive. I mean, I think Madonna's probably get this for decades now. Yeah, she literally put out a book where she was naked. Yeah, but I, it's just like uh, that would drive me crazy having people coming on my appearance that much. Someone coming on my appearance recently on, on a on a fucking Reddit post, and I was like, this is too much for me. Yeah, people coming on me be saying I'll be naked as fuck. But I mean, you know. But RuPaul looks stunning. Everyone looks actually. Everyone looks. Megan good. these thoughts I are. I love that that Ross has switched up his style. I know you literally every week you comment on it. Because do you remember it was we were it was it last was, week it Naomi was, giving, was like it was giving show the judges versatility. <laughs> well I think I think Ross thought he was doing a thing. Also Ruth's thigh gap. Yeah. Oh uh, I think as Ross he I think Ross thought the two the 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 mermaid sequin bomber jacket is my thing. I thought he thought he, he thought that was his thing, but he's switched it up. I like I like Meg's outfit. I like Meg's outfit. I think, she looks, I think she looks really someone in the comments was like, what is Meg's outfit wearing? I think she looks really good actually. I like I think she looks great. I I didn't really get her she's not my brand it's not that she's not my brand of humor. Sometimes I think real like her, I, I was kinda I was kinda like, what are these jokes? Yeah, and then RuPaul like <laughs> But, but, people, ah. but people who love Banks Hunter fucking love Banks Hunter. I know, I know, I, I know. We, I know. we should hop into this. All right, Banjo Pitches. All right. You want to read Mistresses? Yeah, my girl. Howdy, folks. Let me give you the tea. My girls can always count on me. Never turn my back for a piece of trade, but large girls is awesome. We always get laid. Been through some things. That's how it goes. Who said life was a one-woman show? Might be old, but I'm having fun. Even at 100, life's just begun. I loved watching mistress she's great like of I all of the ones that i loved watching i just kept loving watching her she I uses her. her body in a she knows how to move in a way that is just captivating yeah I agree. she knows how to captivate in, in the way that she moves i love her she's really good like yeah. even like this the the way that she did that the, in that first episode that split with a punch yeah and then the and the, this one she does the, a that was so good. She, yes, the way, her verse is her verse is fine, but her performance was 
great. Yeah. Like, her performance was great. So Lux said, looking good and feeling fine. We uh we don't need men to they, they waste our time. And honestly, we don't have that much time left. Down there is dry, just like just like our wine. And like our wine, we age we aging, we we Yeah, we're getting fine. I think it's aging fine. Oh. I think we're, we're aging fine because we don't let these boys get us stressed. I really liked her. She sounded good. I think the she melodic thing the coming in, y'all she sounded the best. Yeah, rewind it. Listen to it. like she did this little melodic thing coming down. She's like, I don't remember what it was. It was looking very... good and feeling fine. Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, she sounded great. I love that little me that yeah. she did. Um, yeah. I, she did a pretty good job. This, this whole Vandal bitches were doing. A, they did a good job. And they got. They were the one that got the what they didn't want. They got. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Selena. When I started to decay, my son he sent me straight away. I met these girls up in the home, and now I don't feel so alone. When I stop breathing in my sleep, or when I seem to have lost my teeth, my girls they always have my back. Cause even, cause even if it's out of whack. Yeah, I mean, to me, none of these verses are particularly blowing me away. <laughs> you know what I mean? But but they're but they're they're good. And, and this whole group did a good job performing, I think. Yeah. And they and they, and they, and they all look really good. They have really good energy too. Mm -hmm. Um Marsha says, being old is hard, but being in love is harder. You love a man all your life and then he croaks in the middle of the night. Uh what do you do when you reach to the when you, what do you do when you reach the end? Look left, look right, you still got friends. Oh, love you all so much I could just die. And I might. That was really funny to me. I think Marsha might have had my favorite she verse. Was the funniest one, yeah. And hers was because hers was the funniest. Yeah, I agree. And I might. That, yeah. That really, that really tickled me when she said, "Cause I might yeah. die." And I might. Yeah. They, they, this, that was that was a good. They were great. That they was were good. good. They were good. To be honest, I genuinely think that all three teams did a good job. I did too. And I and was a little the, confused when they made the last the, one. The old, the hip hop ones looked like they were bad. I, I was, was like, like, "Why are they looking at them like that?" It was fine. Like they, they were. They were like. I was like, well, it was this thing when they do a joke and they just did his pants. RuPaul, RuPaul was like, and then and then Michelle's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's go to the Rock and OGs. Sasha calling all grannies, but put them dentures in. The, calling all grannies, put them dentures in the air. Cracking his neck. Thank God for cracking Medicare. This cracking Girl, this neck. Man. Thank God for Medicare. Feeling all yummy, just like the strength teas. Cardiac arrest, what? Bitch, Bitch please. please. Arthritis in my wrist, joint pain in my knees. Can't laugh too hard. Crap, did I just pee? Call me old, baby. Call me fire. Call me now, because I know, because I now retire. Okay. I thought this was good. She referenced this was herself. One of the best verses. She referenced herself. Some really good jokes. Her physicality her was. Her physicality was so, very like good. Like that little. The walk she was doing. Yeah. Her voice, I love what she, I, her voice was unrecognizable. Yeah. I thought she did a great job. I am genuinely gagged. By what? she did not win this episode. Because her look was great. Really? Her performance was great. I am gagged that she didn't win this episode. I was really Especially with her tie dye was so good. Tie dye was really good, and her we're, we're, really we're gonna good. Hit, sorry, we're gonna hit ourselves. Yeah. We're gonna hit ourselves. Okay, but so, and also the way that she pushed Malaysia out of the way and the faces she made, she was eating. She was eating. Okay, I can see that. But oh, or or um, how dare you look me in the eye? Uh, like I'm about to die. Still got this nasty girl inside. I keep your ass up all night. Um, I pop to the left, pop to the right. This is what I said. Marsha kind of said it too earlier. She did. Look to the left, look to the right. I still got my girl going like that. Anyway, keep losing my teeth, but but they'll but they'll pack a bite. Hold on, wait, did I just wet myself? Did someone else have to do it? Um, if you can handle this, I'll see you in hell. Unless uh, all of us, unless one of us suddenly dies, let's keep this golden years alive. But someone said that. Someone said that too. Not not or I I, I don't remember all of it. I, anyway, but she but she she did she did a good job. She did a really good job. <laughs> She did. She did a really good job with her performance, but also how many? There are only so many. Who? No one knows who wrote what. First. Yeah, you don't know that. No one knows. You don't know that. You don't um, know that. It, 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 I think it's probably just a coincidence that Aura went after people who said a lot of these things. Yeah. And you're going to make jokes about. Actually, no one made a jokes about. No one said. Depends. No one made it depends. Just I like, know. I would have said. Maybe cop copyrighted. I would have said do diapers. I, I would have said thong or panties. Depends. <laughs> That's good. Like, like, You're funny. I'm like, I'm like 401k, 401k making my dividends, thong or panties. Mm, depends. <laughs> That's good, Bob. <laughs> Honestly. That's good. 
I hate that. <laughs> no, Aura's Aura's performance was really good. Um, she did she did a pretty good job. Yeah. I, 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 I her physicality was very good. All of these teams were good. Yeah, they were all good. That's I, why I was so the hip hop editing was so weird. Yeah, I don't understand why they chose that group to make it look weird. So the other day, girl, I tried to cancel my Amazon Prime subscription and it took me, I'm not playing, four different tries. Like, how does it take you three hours to deliver a lace from wig but to but to cancel my subscription? I also had to cancel plans for the next several hours. No. But it's not just me. 80% of people have subscriptions they forget all about. And that's why I, Monet Exchange, love using Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. Now listen, are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they forgot about. Maybe it's time for that unused account or that, you know, Hulu or that Disney Plus or whatever it is that you don't watch anymore. Maybe it's time to let it go. There's a, there's a great app, and I use it. It helps me with track all my expenses. And because of it, I am no longer wasting money on subscriptions that I don't even use. You might have heard of it. It's called Rocket Money, formerly known as True Bill. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and cancels what you don't want for you. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for, which is a major thing that I needed. And you may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, all you have to do is press... C-A-N-C-E-L. Cancel. And Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Let's talk about Miss Spice. You might ask, how's your head? I'll be sexy. <laughs> you might ask, how's your head? I'll be sexy and spicy till the day I drop dead. Roll around and wet and wet the bed. My- See? Yeah. I mean, everyone's going to make a joke about wetting the bed. Yeah. I can't believe no one made a depends joke. That's crazy. Or a jazzy. Jazz? What's a jazzy? A jazzy is like a, the shoe? Uh, an electric scooter. Oh, mm. my kitty cat sags, and I don't take the I don't I don't take my meds. Got the men's is lining up. Even though I'm old, I still like to what? Call me a cougar because I like them young. But if you're old, then you gotta be hung. You know, she was not acting old, and it was kind of driving me crazy. I don't remember. She just was not acting old. She was just doing, and I I, I kind of feel like she's just do what you gotta do. But it is driving me crazy. She just keeps doing the. <laughs> like she like this is the same character she did for Miley Cyrus. This is the same character she did for the for her um for her lip sync song in the, in the talent show. Same character she's doing for this. She's everyone is like a it's like a bitch. Do what you got. Do what do do your, do your one thing. You can do good. Well, she thinks she thinks this what, is what, what did uh what did uh Jeremy Carey say? Do your one little trick you got. Yeah, yeah. season four. Yeah. Go back to Party City where you belong. Honestly, <laughs> iconic. I, honestly, that is like one of the most iconic, iconic lines in the history of Drag Race. Iconic. Um, Malaysia. Might be old without no teeth. Grandpa's cane is nice. <laughs> it's nice and sweet. Now I'm now um no, I'm not no midnight snack, but you could but you could drop me, crack my back. Arthritis is my middle name. Um, I'm Gramps. The cramps can relieve my pain. Salt and pepper do it better. Snaggy granny for uh, for the sweater weather. This was a, this is a good Malaysia one. Malaysia did a very this good, a good one. Malaysia's good. Her physicality was great. The way that she she, she embodied like old, but the humor of old and like being being like oddly. The humor of this is that like typically you wouldn't see someone these ages doing these things. That's, right. That's that's the joke. And I I feel like Malaysia understood that really well. I thought that she looked good. Yeah, she. Well, once it went went to the other group, I thought they were, the story they were trying to sell to us was that the old, the old dirty bitches weren't acting old enough. But then I was like, bitch, everyone kind of snapped Spice, out a little bit. Well, okay, Spice wasn't acting old at all, in my opinion. But the old dirty bitches, they were acting old in spurts. Like they do a, a thing and they'd be like, yeah. ooh, my back, my back. I thought that they was did everyone. A, I thought they did a good job. I thought they did too. Let's talk about it, Anitra. Old dirty bitch, but she's on the beat. Call it menopause, cause mama's in heat. I may be eighty six, but I could, but I could slip your disc. Bounce up and down, but you know it's it's uh, it's high risk. I may be sweet, but I got tea to spill. Can't keep can't keep it up. Can't up. keep it up. They can't keep it up. Then you're out of the will. Will will smack it like will. She said, will will will. And then she went, Is my grandson's name will? And then she said, Smack it like will. Yeah, I think Anitra did, Anitra did a good job too. Anitra Anitra has been. Kind- did she? I thought she did a good job. Her performance. I thought her performance was good. I thought it was fine. These lyrics now reading them, I'm like. But it was most for her. It was more about the performance, I think. But also, Anitra is 
she needs to start like talking in the workroom or something. Yeah. Like where is she, she fades into the background. One? I mean, this this episode, she she had some some cute sound bites in this episode. She did. But but she didn't have any storyline stuff. Like she's yeah. which you can't be in control of what, what your storyline is, but like, girl, like, I don't know. I just really like her. I just like her as a queen. I just wanna I just wanna see more of her on my screen. Yeah. That's what it boils down to. Yeah. Jax. Get back, get back, make some room. Get back, get back, make some room. I got cataracts. I don't want to break. I don't want to crack. Help me up when I fall on my back. Yeah, I'm still going to slay when I ain't in heels. In a wheelchair, rims you want to steal. Dancing on graves, pushing up daisies. Let me get let me get up and slay with these ladies. I loved her little wheelchair moment. The wheelchair moment was cute. And I guess under this critique, she got that she was too ahead of the beat. Watching the whole picture, I didn't notice it. until I didn't, I didn't notice it either. Like, I was like... I did, and like, I'm not saying that she wasn't, but watching the whole group perform, I, there was not a moment I was like, "Oh, this bitch is she's ahead of the beat." I yeah, didn't see that. But to be fair, I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't true, looking for true. It, so. And the, they 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 saw it twice. Michelle watched it happen twice, so I'm sure she has a different perspective. Um. All right, Lucy. Oh, that's how you spell her name. Lucy was her voice out of everyone. My, I think my face, just like watching the way she performed, I, I barely even recognized her. Yeah. Her voice was good. Her voice. Lucy she sounded did, like an old lady for real. I think Lucy did a really good job. I remember Lucy did a good job. Lucy yeah. genuinely did a really good job. I, I, spelled, I thought her name was spelled L-U-C-I, but it's spelled L-O-O-S-E, S-I-E, yeah. like a loose booty. Yeah. The older the berry, the sweeter the juice. All the younger men want a chance to let loose. These other stank hoes trying to get real slick, but if you're talking trash, you're going to get the stick. The trade keeps coming and asking me what's up, but they can't take it when I fall and I can't get up. <laughs> all I need are my girls and my butterscotch. Want to know what time it is, bitch. Check the watch. This was a great verse. That's a good one. This was That's really a good, one. good. This was a This was a very... Very, very good performance. Yeah, that was like, good. When she turned around, I had to realize that that was Lucy. I was like, "Oh my god, that's Lucy." Yeah, yeah, she looked good. That that was this. Honestly, this was the best performance. I think that out of, out of everyone, this was the best performance for me. You just said about Sasha, bitch. Which one is it? No, Sasha had the best performance of that group. But you're saying Lucy's overall. But I think that Sasha won the episode. So now I'm thinking about it. I think that Lucy had the best performance. I think that Sasha had the second best performance and the best look by a mile. Okay. So I think Sasha should have won the episode. All right. Last one. Miss Robin Banks. So Robin it, Fierce. So <laughs> this, this is New York City Queen and Robin Banks. Sorry, Robin Cradles. All right. <laughs> um, Robin Graves. Uh, Robin Graves. Uh, Ro- right. Bob, uh, you, you, Bob. All right. <laughs> hips giving out, don't like hips giving out, don't do it like before. Still turning out when I'm hitting the floor. Used to drop it, used to drop it hot, now I'm dropping it warm. <laughs> <laughs> baby, when she said, "Baby, did you eat today?" I literally laughed out loud. <laughs> I literally, Jacob can confirm. I was like, "That, that was, so, baby, did you eat?" <laughs> that was so <laughs> funny. I'm really gagged that she was in the bottom because yeah. this performance for me was really good. And that, baby, did you eat today? Might be the single funniest part of the. The, I think the two funniest lines were "Baby, did you eat today?" and uh, I, "Like I might die," and I might anyway. Baby, I do today. also like Lucy's line about um, the trade keeps calling me. Ask, whatever, when she can't get out. I thought that was funny too. Um, I'll hit you with the purse um, from five from from um, from the five to ten so five to ten store. Just got a new hip, so I'm grooving. So I'm so I'm giving more. Just look at these dips. Uh, can I hit? Uh, can I can I hit the floor? Oh Jesus! I feel I feel like a whore. I took like his purse. Like, this was a really. I am. I I need to remember what she wore on the runway again. Yeah. But I love that. I like the way she was dancing, and then getting back up and being old instantly. And honestly, I'm just saying, baby, did you eat today? Was probably the funniest part of the entire episode. <laughs> baby, did you eat so, today? So is such is so granny. And also, and also because they did this thing when she was doing, you know, when she was recording with Leland and them. Like it is not weird to be like, can I just run it really quick without saying it out loud? Mm. And like they're playing this up like. I can't believe she wanted to practice it a little bit. I'm like, bitch, she wrote this like an hour ago. When Probably she, less. Right. When she, it drives me crazy when they act like that's such a crime against humanity to say, can I just like say it without saying it out loud for a second? But it's just everyone, anyone who's recording in a music video. Baby, did you eat today? That was good. Robin, if you're in the room, that was really fucking good. I really enjoyed that line. I, I literally laughed out loud at that. 
Let's go to these runways. Let first up Anitra. I did. I was not gagging. People were like, "Oh my god, I love this look." This was not cute. I yeah. thought this group was. I was like, "No." You know, I don't love this look either. And she loves a sturdy shoe. This little skinny bitch loves a sturdy shoe. I don't love it. Her hair is... looks crazy. Yeah, this this is not a good look. Like, I, I, like, what, is this what's like a like? A, is it like a? Is it like a cat suit? Is it? It it it. It looks like a cat suit, but half of a skirt, and then it's not, it's not. I don't know. Chop. Like this. This, is, this is not good. Chop. Yeah, I, I'm not into this look. Yeah. So up next, we. Whoop, can you? Hot, hot corners. Just use it this. Up next, we have Jack. No. No, this look is not. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why she's in orange. I don't know why she's wearing an orange cat suit. And also, <laughs> no, okay, I'm not saying that anyone like has to. No one's. I'm not saying there's like an ideal body. But if you're five four, you have to work against making your legs look this the long. The tiniest legs and ever. Her legs look an inch long. Also, in Jackson, and I know her legs are short. Yeah. But also, I mean, I've I've seen times where Ginger Minj wore an outfit and her legs look long. Yeah. And Ginger Minj is also like about once five, or twice five, for three. sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying, so Jax is already a tinier person. Of thick, short stature. And she's wearing hip pads, so her legs are going to look thicker. And you're evoking the colors of an Oompa Loompa. She's evoking the Oompa Loompa colors. I'm like, girl, like, you are, like, you are, you are working completely against yourself. And not, and not Oompa Loompa. <laughs> no, this is, this is not great. I don't like the hair. I also just don't know what's going on. What is on. this? It looks it's like denim booty shorts. With like a black girl, is she Jax's hair never makes sense with her looks. I can't. This <laughs> this look is not. No, I no. don't know what Jax is doing. This is wild. Lucy Laduca. This is cute. This is cute too. I don't like her hair. What is I this think hair? She's taking a pretty. I do think she's taking a kind of a safe route, which is taking a, like a dress, like a typical dress, and they just tie dyed it. Yeah, so she's not taking, it's not a big risk, but also it looks really good. And her hair, her hair often doesn't quite match. Yeah, I don't like this hair. Um, I don't hate this hair though. I, I don't, I do, I do not hate this hair though. She does border on an older aesthetic, like a more mature aesthetic, which is fine. But the, there's a, there's cool. Is she in her 20s? I don't know how old this bitch is. She's been doing drag for a long time. She's been doing drag for like over 12 years or something like that. Well, you have been doing it over 12 years by the time she was 30. True. This is true. Lucy Laduca. Yeah, very Ella is... Day. Which you you know, you know Ella Day. How old is she? Me. Thirty-two. She's thirty-two. You know Ella Day hates me. Why? What did you do to her? Because when we did watch her for, for for UK, I was just not feeling her stuff because she always looked crazy. And apparently, she, apparently, people told me she blocked me. <laughs> but is she really? I think so. Wait, what? <laughs> That's because I posted. Am I blocked too? I posted that tweet about um, that raggedy bitch blocked me, or whatever, and everybody was like, "Comment, no, nope, you're fine." Uh, man, hey, girl, love you. <laughs> hey, sis. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that I, I like Lucy dress. I, love that I, hate you. I mean, whatever. It's part for the course when you do what we do. Uh, I, I I love that she has these. You remember when? You remember season nine? I remember when. Gwen. You remember season nine when people were obsessed with those mesh gloves with the, with, with, um, gloves with the stones on them and the nails? Remember, yeah. She's wearing mesh gloves with no nails. I think I think the mesh gloves without the nails is actually a very nice touch for this. She looks really great. That's what I'm, I like the mesh gloves with nails, but when they weren't flesh color, I like when like a black glove with like long nails on it. I think it's. I still think it's fierce. To you this would. day, you would. Um, yeah, I do. <laughs> this Robin Fierce, this dress, this what we got in the bottom. Yeah, this dress is not great. Not but it's good. not the worst, still. It's, it's not the worst, but this is like Drag Race Circle, like season four, like five. Not now. Not now. Like, this was like, you remember, what, not, 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 not a circle skirt, but the other one, like a square thing. It's that kind of dress. It's what it was. We just gathered, and she's gathered in the middle of the Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not stunning. It's this, this hair, this is not stunning. I would have also wanted to wear darker hair. I wish she had darker hair on for this outfit. Her eye makeup, though? 
I was like, oh, bitch, I am stealing that. That, like, light crease and, then, like, the point. Robin, if you listen to this, I am stealing that eye makeup. Her face looked beautiful. But also, look at how great she understands. Look at how well her this body. queen understands proportions. Yeah. Her legs look like they are going up to her armpits. Yeah, I agree. That is, and she does have long legs. I'm sure she does have long legs for real. Yeah. So it, it, it helps. But this queen really gets proportions. Yeah. So I, I would say this thing. Like, I understand proportions when I'm doing drag. And... It was so when a queen gets proportions, it just even a simple garment will look so different. Yeah, but she, she I mean, like if, if I, I always say this, if I saw her at the club wearing this, I'd be like fierce. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, oh, hey, Robin. Actually, I would just say, hey, Robin, how you doing? <laughs> I, w- I wouldn't go. Did you see what Robin had on? I go, oh, hey, Robin, nice to see you. Um, but I wouldn't be like, girl, take this shit off. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I think her her face looks so beautiful. And I love her. Mistress Isabel Brooks. Now, the judges were raving over this. I thought it was fine. They were like, oh, my God. I thought it was a fine look. Yeah. This, this reminds me. I know a queen who didn't look kind of like this, actually. Are you, are you, are you going about, about to do a joke? Oh, I just know a queen who didn't look. I, didn't, I know a queen who didn't look kind of like this. It, what? <laughs> you are so annoying. Anyway, I know a queen who didn't look. She kind of had like this, like, stones coming off her shoulder. She did this whole, like, look with a stone. I knew. I knew this way. Anyway. I, I, I just don't know who did it look like this. Whatever. Anyway, I thought this look was fine. I didn't think it was like stunning. And maybe this was this what. I mean, it's a cat top. suit with a tail over. It's it's yeah. It's literally just fine. I, yeah. I think Mistress has looked much better in her. Life. Agreed. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And you heard RuPaul's note to her, but like when you see Marsha back there painting, and she says she's done. Uh, so. It's like show her this and tell her more bigger. Bigger, <laughs> girl, bigger. No, I was genuinely shocked that she said that to her. I was like, Marsha's not even here. <laughs> She's not even here. Yeah, RuPaul was like, let her know. Imagine you were sitting backstage enjoying a house of love cocktail, and then you get RuPaul. <laughs> and, t- and tell Monet, this is how you do it. I was like, this is a <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, on the main stage? Queen. On the main stage? I love this queen so much. I love Mr. I'm such a fan. I'm such a fan. Lux London Noir. Yeah, Lux looks fine. Lux looks good. I, I, feel, I feel like this is, I feel like we've not seen this, but it just seems, it's not giving anything like, look, she looks good. Like, yeah, this, I think she looks good. I, I'm not blown away by this, but she looks good. She looks like a beta fish. Like a, she, she looks like an Amazon. Oh, I know a queen who did um look. Kind of like this one too. It was really, it was really. We need to move on. <laughs> Jacob, no, we need to move on. I just had no clue to look like those. It was, it was really cool. It was like a really. Cool we, could, we, we gotta keep going. We gotta it was keep such going. a cool look. We're in the We still got go. some more looks to do. We gotta keep going. Really <laughs> yeah, on. I. She looks like a fighter fish. I, I think, I think Lux looks great. I think she looks cool. She looks sexy. Yeah, she looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I do know a girl who didn't look like this. So, well, you know, girl, to do look like this. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know, girl, to do like this. So I think, I think it's a, this is a cool look from Selena. It's different from anything she's giving us so far. Yeah, Selena, Selena, Selena looks good. Yeah. Uh, I don't have any complaints about this at all. Actually, I think she looks good. She's obviously going for. It's actually going for like a like a seashell kind of thing. Yeah, I can't, she's definitely some type of sea something. I can't tell if she's being like a fish or a sea. You know, you know those shells that you listen, you put it to your ear and you can hear the thing in it. That's not the one. It, they're they're like the ones that kind of wrap around. Yeah, that's, that's, that's that. Don't look like that. That's what it looks like to me. This looks like the one that do like this. And they a can clam? Like, they, 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 they can like flap through the water. What what shell does that? They can like kind of like, that's what it looks like to me anyway. <laughs> what shell? <laughs> what? A scallop. They're called scallops. Scallops do that? Yeah. They, and they Scallops that you eat, they can do that? Yeah, that's how they swim. No, I can't tell if you're doing a thing. If you're doing a joke. I'm not making a thing. That's what they they kind of like they kind of like bounce up through the water. Don't stop doing this. With your well, when they, they're on the bottom and they start flapping. They just kind of like start floating up. That's how they swim. Oh, I've never seen that work. Okay, I am David Attenborough. Huh? <laughs> she looks like a, a a conch to me. A conch. Um, um, yeah. This was not tie dye. How is it tie dye? Yeah, because I, the blood is is curdling. I don't I understand what you're doing. Okay. We're on Marsha, Marsha, Oh, Marcia, this Marcia. is Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I Marcia X3. do not understand how Marsha... Did she grab the wrong outfit? <laughs> well, she made the blood tie-dye to make it fit the theme, but I'm like... Like the blood tie-dye? Yeah, the blood is tie-dye. She, like, put tie-dye in the blood. Like, 
Part of me was like, girl, we know your name's Marsha. We know. I'm like, we've seen this. This is the third time we've seen this this nose bit. We know your name's Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Also, like, this outfit is, this is, you're not helping your case that you're playing. <laughs> like, walking on a white dress where you're not helping the case that you're playing. And I, I'm not I, I'm not into this look. This, this this makes Princess Poppy look like she's wearing a lot. Bitch, in Untuck, Malaysia shut Marsha down. Because Marsha was trying to cut her. She's like, no, 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 no. And Malaysia got at her and Marsha was like, I'm sorry. You're right. You're right. I, I, I did not mean to cut you off. I'm so sorry. I did not. I, was I, like, I need to watch on top. Malaysia gathered this bitch like a motherfucking she, y'all. <laughs> I, need, I, need, I need to watch. I need to watch on top. Yeah, Malaysia snapped on this bitch. I was like, ooh, damn. Cold, Cold ass bitch. Cold ass bitch. Cold ass bitch. <laughs> Sasha Mother Tuck and Colby. This is perfect. Yeah, she looks really good. This is perfect. Sasha Colby looks amazing. The the hat. The, the way it's dripping, the makeup, the way that her shoes match. This is... And she has a built-in course into it. My one critique, and I feel bad for her, she's going to have to wear this in some hot-ass clubs in America. And she's going to be so fucking sweaty wearing the way this... You're not going to wear what you wear on drag race anywhere else. Girl. Yeah, I did. That's a nice way. She says Bob, because Bob don't care about y'all. When I was on drag race, I would wear the things I wanted to show because you guys really wanted to see them. This may shock you all, but I care about myself more than I care about y'all. I care about myself <laughs> way more than I care about y'all. You got me. You got me, Monet. Gathered me on that one, honey. But yeah, I, I don't. You do not. I don't think you have to wear what you wore on Drag Race. I wear a few things for Drag Race, but not every. I wear like my my purse purse look a lot. But that's it. and the rest of it I sold for charity. Well, I've been on Drag Race a few times. I, I said, to be honest, the only one, only season ten, or only season four, All Stars four. I did not wear anything season ten really, or anything um All, um, all Stars seven because I didn't. I'm not. I can't believe she didn't win this episode. I can't believe she didn't win this episode. This is crazy. I, not, even the shoes are those. Are those? This are those is crazy. Things. How did she not win the episode? Who won? Oh, Armayari. Armayari though. Next, this, this was a good. great look. She looks really cool. Yeah, I really like this look. I would wear this down. A lot. She looks really great. I love the glasses. I love. I have. I have a wig like this. Do you? My little orange when I want to. I, I, I know a queen who did a wig like this. <laughs> come on, come on. I know a queen who did a wig. Just, just give me a second. Give me a second. I know a queen who did a wig. Just let that shit go. No, not this one. That's not. not the one no, I, I, I didn't want to scroll. Like I don't know how far. It's right there. You can. You can. You can. You can give myself some time. Damn. Oh. Well, oh, Jacob, not tell us to move on when it's you. Oh, wow. Oh, when it's oh, Jacob. Oh, now we now we got time. <laughs> Interesting, Jay. I'll see you when I get home, Jay. I'll see you tomorrow, Jacob. How about that? Yeah, I think this was a really great. I think this was like a really cute, cool way to do this. I, I think she looks great. I would wear this. I think she looks cool. Yeah, actually, I feel like I have seen you wear this, but like in Ankara. <laughs> like, like I still, I feel like I've seen you wear this. Never my bare chest out. I would have my bare chest. Which you know, so I've seen your bare chest out several times. When in drag? Yes. When I don't do that. Maybe not in a while, but you used to. Yeah, back when we used to live in New York, not ever since I've been on Drag Race. Also, you know how I always said I want to get chest implants? I think that, as so I was watching like Ma, like, I've never heard anyone say chest implants. One of the things I've never heard anyone say that, I've never heard anyone say that before. Well, breast augmentation. But now I want like perky, we were talking, we were talking about small, small titties, small boobs, and and I will. I want like a like a model cup, like like a beak, like a perky bee with like really pointy nipples, so I can wear like a wife beater or something and still be sexy. I don't know if this is problematic. What I have to say now, right? <laughs> but like, if you like, this is Bob say it. You know, like moans titties, like when yeah. you're moaning and you're yeah. like, they're sexy. I know. I think I think moans, I might take a I think, cycle. I think moan titties are. I've looked up with some people with moan titties, and moan titties are. I might take a cycle just so I can, but I want my, so my like areolas. Like little bitty titties with big nipples. Anyway, my areolas are very, my areolas are not pronounced. I want like more pronounced areolas. Is there something that can make your areolas more like popping? Is that a thing? Well, I my mean, areolas are flat. Like, I mean, I could show y'all. I, I, I have like, like flat areolas. I don't know. I, they're not flat. I can see them. I mean, but I want like, I want like fucking Hershey kisses. You know what I mean? You want Suction to cups, they don't last though. When I say moan, see what I mean? Like when you're when you're on Stop. when you're on um, estrogen. estrogen yeah. Um, anyway, specifically if you're assigned male at birth, you're on estrogen. I don't, I don't know what estrogen does to you when you are assigned female at birth in your own. Because you know people do uh, hormone replacement therapy outside of just yes. The, uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Is this last last look? And then we have spice. Oh, spice. This I have seen this outfit nineteen times. I know it's the same. This is again. you know that sugar has the same one, but in pink. <laughs> 
<laughs> it really, it honestly really annoys me that she has not got critiqued on wearing symbol. Like, I agree. Like, I feel like, and maybe it's not true, but I feel like I have seen this often many times, and it drives me crazy that they have not critiqued on it. The only she time she's it. gotten critique was when she was in the bottom, in her sister home. That's, That's literally the only time she's ever, she's been safe, I think, every episode, except when she was in the bottom and sent her sister home. And, and, and they were too busy going on about that Snatch Game to even say anything about the outfit. They were like, I can't even start with your outfit. This is, that Snatch Game was too crazy. Yeah. They did, they, they refused to critique them on this shit. And I'm fucking over them. Her. And I'm, I'm, I'm over it. Over it. I mean, she does look good, but it's she like, good girl, for sure. you can't, I, you can't wear this again. This is what. As they, as they say on um, on uh, Breaking Bad, she can't keep getting away with this. Yeah, and people say, oh, they're keeping them for, for... They're not keeping this bitch for views. People are not only tuning into Drag Race to watch Spice. They're like, the viewership is not going to tank if Spice goes home. Like, it's not yeah, a thing. Yeah, yeah. Let me try it down. The plot twist, when your favorite goes home, you still watch. Yeah, you still watch the show. So it's not for views. I don't really understand why, but that's not my business. But also, I don't... Was she... Well, she wasn't her her roommate look is is, is by not by I would say this her roommate is by far not the worst. It's like not the worst. by far her roommate is not the it's worst. It's not the worst, but I mean there's some there's some madness on the runway, honey. Let's um, go to Malaysia. So when does I cannot believe we're still we're still talking about clothes. This this is too many drag queens. <laughs> oh my god. This is too many drag queens. Malaysia. She's giving you what she's giving me. Um, um, big Ma- make your mama more and beautiful. Make your mama more. Yeah. No, no. Um uh, uh, more uh, my mom people. Big blonde and beautiful. Yes, she is. I Down. love this look. Oh, this, this is great. I would wear this. Yeah, this is a great look. I, I like this. this. I like this a lot. She looks really, really good, and she does look like Mortimer Mountain Bell. Girl, like, this Down. is like that's wild. It's I like, she really like Mortimer Mountain. And then the person who made this was like works on hairspray, and they like they made this off of her. Yeah, this looks really good. I like this. Yeah, I would wear this down. I will say this though, Malaysia. I, has it been a gown? Gown. Every runway. Gown. Every runway, right? Irritating. Gown down. Come on, girl. Yeah, she really. She really said, "Gowns on gowns." Actually, on gowns in the on corner, gowns. I was like, "Not another gown." Yeah, I'm kind of gagged a little bit, to be honest. Gagged him a bit for sure. That's what everyone's typing on, on everything. Have you seen this? No. Gagged us a bit for sure. Who who said that? It's just like it's just everyone keeps commenting. I don't know what it's from, but everyone keeps commenting it. Oh, I didn't. So know. you don't know what it's from? What no, is it what's from? from? That's Lux's entrance well, line. Jake, let's hurry up. Move it on, Jake. <laughs> but that's that's uh, that's Lux's entrance line. What is it? Wait, Jake. <laughs> What is it? Gag them a little bit? Gag the, gag them a bit for sure. Oh, that's that's Lux's interest line? Yeah, girl. Oh. Oh, I what? didn't know that. Uh, that Do was you even watch time. the show, Tamar? Yeah, but I didn't remember that interest line, but everyone keeps Naomi told me that me. last week, but y'all know I don't remember it. And I haven't I haven't I haven't, I haven't smoked since November. A lie. Monet saying that so her the, so they're a probation officer. Will I have not them. smoked since whatever. That is a lie. Your, I have done mushrooms. Monet's probation though. officer should know that that is absolutely a lie. I right? have up my mushrooms a little bit, so maybe that's why. Um, Who's your favorite look? Oh, Sasha Kobe. Sasha Kobe. You know, I'm gonna give it to Malaysia. I really like this look. It is a good look. It is a really good look. I like this Man, look. Man, Sasha's like. This is a fucking good. This is a very good look. Okay, I really like Sasha's look. This bothers me though. It bothers was, you that the corset, where the corset yeah. matches, meets the bodysuit, is not matching up perfectly. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. It bothers me a bit. It doesn't bother me because I, because it makes me see that there's a corset. I don't want to see the corset. The, 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 the person clearly tried to match it up. They just but they could, a good they job. could have also just made a corset underneath and just put it over it. They could have done that easily. I think the person clearly tried to do so by matching this, but they failed. Drag them. No shade. So then we end up. My, by, can you you want to ask me my favorite look? You said your favorite was male. Oh, you want to ask me my least favorite look? <laughs> okay, what was your least favorite look? My least favorite look is going to be Jax. Oh, but Anitra. But also Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. <laughs> but it's, 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 it doesn't match the theme, but I don't think it's, it's not my least favorite look. I still think it's very well put together, very well done. Just, yeah, Jax is pretty bad. Jax is bad. I have to give it to Jax. I'm sorry. And Anitra is a close second. I know. But Ooh, Jax, uh, yeah, looks wild. No. Yeah, not good. Um, so we 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 find out that the bottom queens are Jax, uh-huh. Robin Fierce. Robin Fierce. And um Anitra. And Anitra. Yeah. And I knew Anitra wasn't gonna be in the bottom. Why? Because her performance was good. I thought Jax, her, do you think do you think Anisha's performance was better than Jax? I thought Jax was a better performer, in my opinion. But Jax's outfit is bananas. <laughs> yeah. 
But I think both Jax and Anitra, they I don't know what their outfits are. Both of them have no idea what their outfits are. But Jax, why would you why an orange body stocking? Like I just don't understand what did she, did she think it was nude? No. And Anisha didn't know the words to hers. I didn't go back and look at I should have went back and looked at that because I didn't notice that. And at least Jax knew the words. Anisha didn't even know the words to her, but to her. Dragon. Right. You're right. Um, but Robin Fierce and Jax looked against each other. Me and Jacob were watching, and I really couldn't tell anyone was like, you know what my immediately thought was my immediate thought was freaking mad gay. So you know the runway's a T, mm -hmm. and there are those two those those big black spots. Mm -hmm. Back when I did Drag Race, those spots were not there. You right. had to lip sync on the T. On the T. So yeah. when girls walk up and like walk in circles, we literally could not do that. <laughs> we had to lip sync on the. It was just negative space. Mm. You if you walked off there, you would fall. <laughs> yeah, on season ten, we had you. We could walk there. I think, that, season, that is, I, was, I think they changed to season nine. Yeah, yeah. My season guys was the last of a bunch of mess. <laughs> last on logo. Last on logo. Last, last on the full stage. Last music video. No, no uh tic tac dinner. <laughs> Damn, they was shortest. <laughs> were they rushing us? That was, was Jacob producing that one? <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Um uh, Jax and Robin lip sync and I thought Robin did a good job keeping up with Jax, but honestly, I think you could give it either way. I don't think Jax nailed it. Yeah, either one of them could have went home, either one could have stayed, and I would have been like, sure. Sure, yeah, I agree. Yeah, but I... Did I, you agree with the winner? I think, no, I think that, that Sasha Kobe should have won. Mm. Who Over, won? Or Mayori won. Yeah, I would I would have put Aura Mayori high, but I would not have put her to win. I would have put... Same. I would have put Mistress. I think Mistress, but no, Mistress is Runway. Yeah, Mistress Runway knocked her down. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. But here's the thing. They'd be picking and choosing when runaways matter. I also would have put Spice in the bottom this week. For real? Like, no, her runway wasn't the worst. But it was. But she cannot keep wearing that goddamn outfit. This is insane. <laughs> this is in... I'm starting to think the outfits are reversible. <laughs> I'm starting to think the outfit's just fucking reversible at this point. Yeah. You know yeah, it's kind of wild. Um, so are you excited about... Uh, what are they doing next week? I watched the preview right now. I did too. I can't remember. Do you remember Jacob? They'll tell us in two seconds. What's the What's the challenge next week, y'all? They were. I'm trying to remember. They were. They Tona wins. Oh yeah, they Tona wins too. Yeah, but now we. But now they know it's about Bart. Well, you know they're gonna try to flip something around. It's gonna be about something else. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe this. time. Maybe this time they think it's about farts and there's no fart sounds. <laughs> no, that would be so funny if the girls are like. If the girls are like. But nothing's coming. <laughs> but yeah. nothing's wait. That would be so funny if it's about farts, but there are literally no. no yeah. Braggers, they're, they're gonna flip it around. They're gonna do some that shit would like be that. So, but I should fucking. Work. I need to work in fucking. But they're gonna do it. So why would it need you? Huh? They're gonna do it anyway. That's what they're planning on doing next week. You think that's what it is? I think so. They, they're uh -huh. uh, they clearly, clearly gonna do a little. I don't think gonna flip it, but who knows? That it'd be that way. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was actually one of the funniest pranks they've done on Drag Race. Like not telling the girls about farts. That was actually a really good bit. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. It was good. It was good. Um, I love you so much. I love you too, Bob. Thank you oh, for coming. Oh, also, um, I think I want to. We never announce stuff on our podcast. I know we never. We be. I listen to other podcasts. Amanda Seals will oh, announce her gig. Oh. <laughs> and we never announce what we're doing. Thank you so much for tuning in. First of all, I, let me just quickly say on the tenth, my EP is coming out, and yes. my music video, the titular song "Gay Bars" from the yes. EP "Gay Bars." Will be out on on the tenth. It has Ocean Kelly, it has Camera Time, Alex Miller, um, Mikey Grande, and myself. It is it is a really I'm really proud of this video. And I am here in Minnesota singing with the Minnesota Opera, doing my role of as the Duchess of Krakenthorpe. You can catch me on. February 9th, 11th, and 12th here in Minnesota. And I have some shows coming up in California on March 23rd. On March 22nd, I'm going to be in Oxnard, California. And on March 29th, I'll be in Irvine telling Where jokes at, at MonetExchange.com. And last thing we do have, we just launched uh, Bomo Beauty. And yes. uh, actually, take a look at this. Look, this is our little commercial. A little bit of our, a little bit of our commercial. You. Uh, all right. Bye, everyone. Damn, Monique, can we say goodbye with like a little grace? <laughs> what? Thank you all so much for watching our program. We really appreciate it. Thank you for joining us. I'm happy that you're here. I, but, but I, it's your tie. I, your, your, your tie is not happy to be here. Your tie is ready to go home. So that I, <laughs> I appreciate it. Bye, everyone. <laughs>